What's going on everybody, C4 here, welcome back to the channel, and we are here for part 3, episode 3 of our Madden 21 Realistic Rebuild with the Baltimore Ravens. Now it's been spaced out just a little bit, you can remember we started this rebuild right at the peak of the Baltimore Ravens outbreak of everything they had going on there, now it seems like they're back, and uh, we had gone through two years, we've gone 9 and 7, and we may have got dusted by Colin Kaepernick the last time we were in the playoffs, but now we enter a draft that might be, at least on paper, a chance to be our most overpowered draft yet. Because when you look at this here, we got a 7th round wide receiver that has a 1st round grade. We have a 6th round wide receiver that has a 1st round grade. We have a 5th round wide receiver that has a mid 1st round grade. We have a 3rd round wide receiver with a late 1st round grade. We have a 2nd round center. We really do need to improve the offensive line. Eric Burris here, early 1st rounder. So you know he's going to be high 70s normal dev trade, most likely. We have a 7th round defensive tackle. That's an early 1st round talent. That's absurd. We have a 3rd round outside linebacker. That's a 1st round talent. And we have a 1st round, or 2nd round, sorry, strong safety. That's an early. So basically, I want to start this draft by figuring out if I can get Burris and Jeff Branch with my first two picks. Now, Burris is projected to go late 2nd round. Branch is projected to go mid-second round. So, logic dictates we'll kick this draft off by getting Branch, who's 75 normal, number 5 in true value. But we really do need to improve the interior of the line. So, I'm going to sim a little bit into the second round. Maybe mid, hell, maybe even mid-second round. And then we're going to see if we can trade up and get that center. But I don't want to give up too many picks because there is some really, really good value in this draft day two, day three. So we're able to go back up into the second round to land, hopefully the center, well, I think 99.9% .9 sure he's on the board. Unless I missed it, we're able to get pick seven from the Miami Dolphins. It cost us our second, our fourth, and somewhat upside D-tackle from BYU, Tonga, who was uh, D-tackle three on our depth chart, which, you know, I would have liked to keep him, but the fact that we are now on the board, we're going to be able to get... Our center makes me happy because the Dolphins also needed a center. So this guy, we had to land him. And he's 75 normal, number four in true value. Love it. Love the dev traits we're getting here. So I drafted that seventh round D tackle, that had early first round. And Ramon Harris, number nine in true value, 74 hidden dev. So with that, it pretty much compensates what we lost in Tonga. It's, it's an upgrade. It's an obvious upgrade. But we gave up a D tackle to get our center in the second round. And we recouped a way better D-tackle later on in the draft. This guy's absolutely a beast. And he could very well be the successor to Brandon Williams as our nose tackle on the front of that front three. So here's a, here ends up being our draft. And I think it was still a pretty damn good draft. We have a 75 strong safety that could hopefully be the successor to, uh, to Clark. We have a new starting center in Eric Burris. We're able to land one of our key wide receivers. We had three first round wide receivers scouted. We got Daryl Odom. From Central Michigan, 73, normal dev, but 95 speed, 93 acceleration. One hell of an athlete, which is great to pair with what we have already. We got Ramon Harris, who might be the best of the bunch. We got a 66 tackle and a 62 guard to kind of fill out the depth on the offensive line. But very, very strong draft. That's like a top 25 draft I've had all time here in Madden 21. So it's been a minute. Let's get a quick refresher of where our Ravens team is at as we get ready for year three. We're at 84 overall with an 88 offense and an 81 defense, which is a little bit weird because you think Baltimore, you think great defenses. Looking at our offense, the uh, the skill position players are good. We got Mark Andrews, who's a 91. We got Hollywood Brown, who's 84. Juju Smith-Schuster, who's a 91. And the young Devin Duvernay is developing very nicely as our slot option. J.K. Dobbins, 83 at running back. Lamar Jackson is a 96 superstar X-Factor. Big trust. Big trust. O-line, we got two really strong tackles. Obviously, in Ronnie Stanley, who's a 95. And Orlando Brown, who is an 86. Zeus Jr. Uh, we have Burris, second-round draft pick. Will be the start at center. You can still see the guards are not exactly where they need to be. But I, I think the rest of the offensive line can compensate for that. Defensively, it's, it's, it, you know, it's a work in progress. The front three, we're actually going to put Harris... Just for the time being, because Brandon Williams still is a solid nose tackle. We're going to kick Harris out to DN with him and Barmore. So that's, you know, a lot of youth. A lot of youth to that. The linebacking core, we got Yannick Ngakwe, Harrison, Patrick Queen, and Shakatoni. Secondary, we have Deshaun Elliott, who has a dev trait. Branch, I'm going to give Branch the reps, our first round draft pick, over Clark. Clark's been solid. But given the fact that safeties usually go up dev traits, especially if you're on normal, and it's been two years and he hasn't had that opportunity once, 
Let's change it up. Let's see if Branch has a better chance at, you know, popping a little bit there. Peters is 86. We got Marlon Humphrey. Tavon Young. Uh, it's a good secondary. This is this is a better than 81 defense, I think, in my opinion. I will say one thing. I am surprised that after two years, Patrick Queen's still not in the 80s. That's probably the only thing that's been surprising for me on this defense. But they've been 9 7 two straight years. And this roster is better than our roster was last year. So let's go for double digit wins. Let's go for an AFC title. Let's do it. Go Lamar. Fuck a lot. Let's just play right away. Week one, it's a home opener against the Carolina Panthers. What better way to like establish yourself as like, yeah, this year we're taking it seriously than just dominating in the rain at home. That was not a great first play though. Oh, first and 10. Midfield. Ooh, make a miss. Oh, right there. Boom. Touchdown. Touchdown, Hollywood Brown. It rhymes because it's supposed to rhyme. He's another player. Probably like Patrick Quinn of the defense. I had a little bit higher expectations for Hollywood Brown. Maybe this will be his breakout season. I don't think he's gone over a thousand yards yet. Oh my god. I will say it's niche. It's a very much niche playbook. The Ravens offensive playbook might be my favorite so far in Madden 21. First and goal in the eight. Maybe get Juju going if we can. Brian Burns has been a thorn in my side. There we go. Get Juju. Throw it on the run. Brian Burns coming out the edge here for the Panthers is very good. So we got to keep an eye on that. Luckily, we've been able to kind of scramble away from him. But once Lamar starts to get tired, I think a lot of these passes that we're hitting are going to result in sacks. Hopefully not fumbles. Keep an eye on it. So look, he's, he's always right there. Here we get 24. Looking for 24. Lead him. Oh, that's a good pass. That's a good pass from Lamar Jackson to Mark Andrews. The lead just gets that much more suffocating for the Ravens over the Panthers. Go, Lamar. Go, Lamar. There we go. Carolina's not going away. Every time we score, they, they take a long time, but they score to bring it close, and we're only up one. But we're on their 12, and I think a touchdown here will put this game away. Oh, let's show the touch here and hit this to Juju back corner in the end zone. Right at the R. Right at the oh, Okay, well, it kind of actually got bottled up there. Scramble. Lamar does. Oh, and he gets in because he's that damn electrifying. First to go on the five. This is, this is over. This is over. You give me X Factor Lamar. It's over. I grew up on that Michael Vick, Donald McNabb, Eagles team. If you give me a scramble like this, it's over. And we kick the year on with a victory. Almost 100 yards on the ground for Lamar Jackson. 320 through the air. Three touchdowns. You know, he's the reigning MVP for a reason. In case you forgot, he won the MVP last year. He's going to win it again this year. All right, let's get this rolling here. Let's get this season rolling. We follow up week one over Carolina. We have week two against an aging Atlanta Falcons team. 33-27. Lamar Jackson. Three touchdowns. I think that's his second player of the week to start. I mean, the MVP is firing all cylinders. I do not even want to click that to see what his contract is going to look like. We have the 0-2 Dolphins. That should be a win. 41. We put 41 points. We got week four, the Patriots. Let's just go right to the bye. Okay. We're unstoppable. But we have the Saints here. This is our first big test of the season. Saints are good. They're annoying to go up against. Okay. We just beat them as well. Okay, we have some injuries. We've been banged up a little bit, but we're still undefeated. Battle of the Undefeateds here in the AFC North. I'm actually going to play this game. I actually feel like I want to play this one. Play, play a lot of our gameplays early and let the Sim handle the back end of the season, which is absolutely what I don't want to do. But uh, let's upgrade our players here. Working on trying to make some of these boys some scheme fits here. Especially to Sean Allen. I like them when they get that... They get that extra plus two, 300 XP during weekly training. It, it adds up. It honestly adds up over the season. You might get a free 2,000 XP just because they're a scheme fit. And at this point, if you're under the age of 25, kind of makes sense to go that direction. So Jeff Branch has a little bit of work to do, become a hybrid, you know, like a Sativa Indica hybrid. That's what we're working on here. Pa offensive line sucks. O-line is like the worst because power, it takes forever. Like, you're pretty much going to be burning five friggin' points. Their whole first season, making them a scheme fit. We got Lamar Jackson way down here. Again, I am only working on strong iron because that's where I've thought he struggled with his throw power and his deep ball. And that did not help whatsoever. 
Hey, let's work on your throw power. Your, your big arm. Okay, I'm going to be more aware and I'm going to be able to throw it to the middle of the field a little bit better. Man, Ronnie Stanley was up with an injury. Either way, we're looking good. Undefeated. Let's play this one, man. Play. What's going on with them? How are they? Like, do they have anyone special? Do they have anyone that I should be worried about? Or is it just the Browns that we know the Browns are? They have Chubb and Garrett as their X-Factors. OBJ, Denzel Ward, Mac. So, Mac Wilson, Alabama linebackers, got to a superstar. Javon Holland, they drafted the safety out of Oregon. He's a big-time playmaker. They got Jamal Agnew, the return specialist. Oh, do we have anything? We don't have anything new outside of Juju. Whatever. Whatever. This is a huge game. And we're going to beat them. Good cut. Unnecessary cut, but we're about the mid midfield point here on the opening drive. Battle of the undefeated in the AFC North. Only one can remain. It is going to be the Purple People Eaters 2.0. Oh, no. Okay. You got to remember. <laughs> any Madden, Miles Garrett is the best player in the game. So, we got to... Got to beware. Oh! I was not a touchdown. <laughs> All right, well, that was his point. Okay, I, you know, that looked like it was a touchdown, but the fact that that was absolutely not for Juju and he still came down with it, I thought it was going to be a pick. I will take that. That is falling ass backwards into a big play. Let's go C4 special. Bus Edwards. Get out of here, son. Bus Edwards is in. Open and drive score, but that was a huge play by Juju smith Susers. Probably should have been a pick. Ends up leading to a touchdown. We had him. We had him. Third and six. We are in field goal range for Justin Tucker, which is good. Maybe we can get Mark Andrews here. If we can get behind everybody, which he does. Not enough juice to get through the end zone, but enough to bring it up to the Browns three. Oh, shit. We got bus numbers out the backfield here. Or we just take off with Lamar. Well, let's just do that. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Why not? Why not? P.I. Put that ball on the one. Bus Edwards. Fuel him up. Don't do it like oh, yeah. We haven't really established a true C4 special running back here in Madden 21 yet. And I think it's going to be Bus Edwards. Let's go. Oh, my God. Look for contact. Like, I'm looking for someone to run over. Let's just do it ourselves. Get a stop, D. Oh, yes. Beautiful stop. Like they're scared. They're terrified that we're just going to run this ball. So let's scramble a little bit. We got Juju behind the defender. That is actually a dime from Lamar Jackson. This one's over. So the battle of the undefeated, I mean... 43-19, I think we know who the pretenders were. Lamar Jackson, touchdown and a pick on the day, but also three rushing touchdowns. Unstoppable. Coming up from the bye, though, it's time to rip the Band-Aid off. Lamar Jackson, $263 million over seven years. It's done. Not even got to think about it twice now. We got to fill out the rest of the team. I like Marcus Peters back in a one year. We got Hollywood Brown, who's been solid. Uh, you know, I, I think he's been better now that we've had Juju Smith-Schuster kind of taking the pressure off. And really, outside of that, it's just a lot of depth. So I definitely feel comfortable extending Hollywood Brown. Williams and Tavon Young, on the other hand, if you'll take a one year, we'll have to pick and choose here. I think we'll get Hollywood Brown locked up, and that'll be about it. But week eight, we're able to knock off the Bengals to go to 7-0. and and we're seven and zero, and we have a chance that like we have a couple shit weeks, third place in the division. Let's see, we got week nine against the Titans. It's probably gonna be our loss. I feel like if I had to guess. All right, guess not. Guess not. No else. The Jets. Could this be a, a shocking loss? Absolutely not. They don't even get a. They get a safety. Seven and two Steelers. This is gonna be a big game. Are right, we gonna go sixteen and zero? Eight and two Browns. Ah, there you go. 
Well, if we lose in a losing effort, we did trigger a dev trade scenario for Yannick and Gakwe to go from a star to a superstar. Fuck. Would have been nice. I don't think I have it undefeated yet. Maybe one, but I don't feel like I have one. I just don't want to collapse. I don't want to lose. There we go. I don't want to lose like eight games in a row or something like that, which is impossible. But it was close. And Gakwe did not hit his dev trait in that 28 21 victory. We also have a breakout scenario here. I think that's Devin Duvernay. Man, kudos on, you, on the Ravens for getting Devin Duvernay in the third round. Feel it off. You got like the exact same player in the first round on Jalen Rager. That's why you guys are a way better rant organization. 11 and 1 against the 7 and 5 Steelers. I'd like to get a win here, and we do. 41 35. Duvernay did not get his dev trait, but that was still a very, very nice effort from the offense where Lamar Jackson, four touchdowns on the game, did have a pick, but four touchdowns gets him player of the week. 8 5. Is every team good in this division? Look at this division. We're 12 and 2. We might, we might not even. We got the playoffs, but we might not even get a first round by. That is like the most Madden 20 rebuild thing that we could have. Like one of our best records ever. Oh yeah, and you're not even going to get a buy. We got five and nine bills. And I'm sure we're going to go into to finish this out and have to go into the wild card. Still 13 and three wild card. Oh, I'm not annoyed one bit. 13 and three wild card team. Okay. Did we beat the Browns? Like, what's the tiebreaker there? Uh, Lamar Jackson was pretty good. 4,100 yards, 34 touchdowns, 9 picks. Also was able to chip in uh, 350 on the ground, 6 touchdowns. Again, I just absolutely... <sighs> Why don't you make Lamar Jackson play like Lamar Jackson? That's all I want to know. He's your cover athlete. Authentic, most authentic sim experience. Uh, Dobbins not a bad year though. Like that's a good one-two punch for our running backs. Receiving a thousand yards, ten touchdowns for Juju, almost a thousand, hundred catches for Hollywood Brown, nine touchdowns down for Duvernay. Not a bad year for Mark Andrews either. Defensively, Patrick Queen, nice season. 104 tackles, five and a half sacks, eight and a half for Barrymore, seven and a half Nagakwe, three picks Humphrey, three picks Peters, three picks rookie Jeff Branch, our first round pick at Alabama. Like seeing these returns. Uh, we had top five, uh, six offense, top 10 offense. Defensively, 14th yearly awards. MVP went to Baker Mayfield, just edging out Lamar. Uh, at least for our rest of our awards. Jeff Branch is defensive rookie of the year. We had Ronnie Stanley as lineman of the year. And Justin Tucker, kicker of the year. So some team success, some individual success. It is just very annoying that 13-3 and three is not a divisional title. And 13-3 and three is not a first round bye. But of course. All right, let's go. Playoffs against old mustache there. Mike Vrabel, 13-3, and three, Baltimore. Runner-up for MVP. And, uh, okay, well, we'll probably see you guys next year. We got fight. We're not going away. We will not be denied. We're crawling back here. 10 straight points. 17 straight. Then the first half to tie this up. Everything to play for in the second half. Ebbs and flows, peaks and valleys of this game. We get a go-ahead touchdown there. Fourth quarter, up seven. Tennessee able to equalize 24-24. Two teams very similarly built. Okay. Man, that first round bye would have been nice, huh? Unbelievable. Mark played well. Lamar paid well. Couldn't run the ball, though. 18 yards for J.K. Dobbins. That's the way she goes, I guess. The Steelers won the Super Bowl, so that's awesome. Glad they hit God, we have to deal with that in the division. Let's look at free agency here. We have 21 million bucks. Maybe if there's someone, if there's like one clear upgrade that I really want to bring in, maybe we'll be inclined to do so. Secondary. Hmm. Well, veterans out there, but not a lot of youth. Good there, we're good there. I mean, Mac Wilson could come in and be middle line, but that's 80 million bucks. That's too much money. Um, really, not really seeing much here in terms of upgrades. Um, Wilkins actually might not be too bad. Fits our scheme. 
not too not too old, not too long in the tooth. Could bring in JJ Watt for one year. 17 million bucks. I'd take up our whole. I mean, we're not gonna sign anyone else. Be like a rental. Do you want to chase a ring, JJ? There's already a pretty big bid on there for him, though. Let's do it. Like, I don't really want to spend much money, but we'll see if we can get JJ Watt. I'll give him 19 million bucks. Is that enough for the top bid? It is. If we get JJ Watt. That'd be kind of crazy. Reinforcements are coming. Reinforcements are coming, baby. Uh, got an option to pick up the fifth-year option on Patrick Queen's contract. I'll do that. He had a breakout year. His best year for us. Was able to get some weird sack numbers, but I will take it. So, yeah, we'll pick up the fifth-year option on the young playmaker from LSU. All right, fellas, we're going to wrap it up right here at the draft. We landed J.J. Watt in free agency, so that hopefully we're not... 13 and 3, 1 and done next season. Like, that's like, we're, we only got better. And then you throw in someone like JJ Watt, that's, that spells Super Bowl. That absolutely spells Super Bowl for part four of this rebuild. But thank you guys for watching. As always, your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button, smash the like button if you enjoyed it. Until next time, it's C4 saying peace out.